All right. Welcome, everybody. We have another awesome Monday here in Sydney, Australia. It's actually raining today and a little bit cooler, which is nice, but we've got Lucy with us and we're going to talk about her epic results. Lucy, how are you today? Yeah, I'm doing really well. Thanks. Really well. Yeah. Awesome. Let's get into it. Hey, so it's been a few months. I think it's been four months since, or maybe about three since we started. Right. It, uh, the 20, I think it's the 27th where um, my three months is done. Yeah. Yeah. And you came to us with ulcerative colitis at the time. I've got your original form here. Yep. Yep. Uh, so ulcerative colitis at the time it was quite debilitating and you had a belief that the body is capable of healing given the right conditions, which I think you, uh, I think that's a, a good place to start having that mindset, but tell us what, what happened? Why did you reach out to us back then? Um, because it's been three years and I had had many attempts with different naturopaths and specialists, Western medicine. Western medicine um, did not agree with my body. So whilst it controlled the bleeding short term, especially the steroids, anything else they tried didn't work. So I was beginning to feel like a bit of a, a guinea pig trying different things and I didn't want to do that because um, it was affecting other parts of my body. Mm -hmm. So um, I tried a few different naturopaths but the whole time I was with a naturopath I've been seeing for over 20 years, we were working on the emotional um, component behind the disease. So what was, what was the emotions? What was going on? So I kept that going, um, but I just couldn't seem to control the bleeding. And what initially started off as, as probably half a centimetre of inflammation that was causing bleeding by the time I went back three years later it had grown to 25 centimeters wow. of ulcerative colitis the bleeding was really really bad I believe that one of the naturopaths I saw gave me so much stuff um, none of which I've been taking throughout your program and I believe because it was during that time that I just felt it kept getting worse and worse and just snowballed from there. So and by the time I got to you guys, I was in a really, really bad space. Um, I was actually laid up for, for six weeks, literally could not get off the couch other than running back and forth from the toilet, um, trying to manage the bleeding. But there was, was almost like a a crisis, a, 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 you know, an emotional and a physical and a mental crisis just all culminated and, yeah, and then, I, you know, I had that meeting with you and I took a chance and, honestly, I have not looked back. Does that mean it was easy? No, not not by a long shot. Mm -hmm. um, there were many, especially, the you know, firstly we had to wait we waited, I think, four weeks for the results to come back from the stool test. Um, and then the, the, just the progress, you know, there was a couple of uh, things that didn't work for me that we had to keep changing, but I persevered and I've stuck to the diet. Every now and then I'll challenge my body to see, okay, has this changed? Um which just confirms for me the things I, I really need to stay away from. But the last, the last week, um, I would almost say my bowel is better than it's ever, even pre colitis, it's better. Wow. That's <laughs> so amazing. there's no bleeding, there's none of this running to the toilet. Um, I'm sleeping better. It's like all the things I started. Because at the time I met you guys, I started having um, intravenous uh, vitamin, um, the, the drip, yep. so, did it, so I could get off as many supplements as I could so I wasn't taking too much orally. So I've continued to do that. I also do biofeedback. Um, that's happening twice a week and has been since I met you guys. My sleep has improved Phenomenally, I found a, a supplement that actually works 
really well. And so I'm on a half a tablet of that. So everything, I feel like everything's finally, all those months and years have come together. So, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I remember really. that first call. I remember you, well, I think for us, the prerequisites that we look for when we want to bring a patient on, because, you know, at the end of the day, we don't really want to work with everybody, even even if mm. that sounds a little bit mean. No, I mean, I we, that. Yeah. we spend three, four months with this person weekly. We have lots of contact with all of our patients. <laughs> yeah. um, they, they essentially become part of the family. And so sometimes what we're looking for on our end is somebody who, one, believes they can get better, mm. two, um, is willing to put in the work and understands that it's not going to be a magic fix. No. Um, and, and truly wants to heal because if you want it, I know it sounds cliche, but if you, if you want it, you will go through the challenges. And if something yes. goes wrong, you won't yeah. just give up at the first step. Yeah. And you ticked all those boxes. And I remember even when I talked about how the program works and the packaging and the pricing, you said, yep, no problem. Let's do yeah. it. I'm, I'm ready yeah. to go ahead. Um, looking back now, what, I guess what initially stood, why did you pick us? I mean, I'm, there's plenty of practitioners out there. What was it about us that made you want to book that uh, call? I don't think I picked you. I think you popped up <laughs> in my, <laughs> in my, um, on Facebook. I'd never heard of you, but it, it popped up. And, you know, when, when you're in, and I'm sure you have been through this yourself, when you're in such a desperate state, and I've always had a really, really strong belief that the body is capable of healing itself. I'm a therapist myself, mm. so I've always, whenever I've had any physical ailments, and I've taught my family this as well, first point of call is let's go to the emotional component, mm. what's going on emotionally. So I was in that state and I was desperate because I thought, Emotionally, I'm doing everything that I possibly can. I'm facing all the aspects of, of um, what the emotions are behind the bowel and colitis and all of that. But why aren't I achieving the physical results? And I was so tormented because Western medicine has never really agreed with me and I've been doing natural therapies for 35 years. So... I was desperate. And then one, I think it was the middle of the night or something, I was awake because I couldn't sleep. And there you were, you popped up. <laughs> and I thought, I, I kept going back to it a few times because I thought, Luce, you know, you've spent so much money and haven't got results. Mm. Just, just give yourself a minute because I jump in with both feet. And I kept going back and I thought, no, I have to, I have to try this and at least, you know, because you offered half an hour free meeting. So I thought, well, all I can do is talk to you and then make a decision. And I always ask for a sign, you know, am I doing the right thing? And sure enough, the, the next day there was another one popped up and this was in America and she said, if you are got an autoimmune disease and your specialist is telling you that you can't heal it, change your specialist, leave them, dump them because it can be healed. And that to me was confirmation of what I believed, you know, and I thought, no, this is because I think their system is very similar to yours and I, we spoke about that. You said they do a few things differently. Yeah. So I knew I was on the right track and it was just uh, you got me just before the, the crash. So I was headed, I was going down the slide, <laughs> hadn't quite crashed yet. So um, everything just seemed to align, even getting that stool test done. I had to do it in the middle of the night because that's when my bowels were moving, which was excruciating. But I did it, and thank God I did because after I got to the final one, and I find I, I, it was so hard to get to that final one because my bowel was changing so quickly, um, and then after that, everything just crashed, completely crashed, emotional, mental, physical. Uh, I was in the worst space I'd ever been in to the point that one night we called an ambulance um, because I was so depleted. I'd lost nine and a half kilos. That had never happened. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. It was just the trauma that was in my body was phenomenal and and. I think I had to go through all of that 
to be able to be ready for the results and to be able to commit to those, um, to that commitment. It was a huge amount of money. Um, so I was willing to do anything and I am, I'm that kind of person. I, if you believe in something, then you need to be prepared to walk your talk. And, um, yeah, I've loved working with Chloe. Sorry, I never made any of your Wednesday things. <laughs> Firstly, those first few weeks, I was just couldn't talk to anybody. And then I had to get back to work and, you know, all these other appointments that were going on. But, um, just working with Chloe, her patience, her understanding, because I did have days where I thought, oh, is this not working? Why am I still feeling this? Why am I still running to the toilet? Um, the nights were hell, but persevered, persevered, and I'm so grateful and glad that I did because the results now, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, really, really impressed. I'm glad. And... I'll, I guess I'll maybe outline to people how it works and why we designed it the way we did because many people don't know the origin story of the program, but it's Ooh. very unique. And we do have some other programs and people out there that do a similar thing, but I haven't found one that's the same. Mm -hmm. um, the reason is because I designed it based on my experience and what I wish I had at that time. Yeah, And I, I went through autoimmune, I went through psoriasis, sinusitis, I had chronic staph infections, I had... Uh, chronic diarrhea and IBS. I think it was actually mild colitis, but I never went as far as the endoscopy because I didn't have to. Um, mm. I considered doing a fecal microbiome transplant, which was like a $25,000 cost. Mm. I, I did many, many things. I did all the testing. I took human strain probiotics. I changed my diet. I did everything. And I still was having 10 to 12 bowel movements a day mm. in the middle of the night, right after eating, all loose, all with blood. It was not, it was not good. Yeah. Um, and then I found, uh, one of the technicians from the lab said, Hey, we've got this new test out. We should, we should run it for you and see how we go. And sure enough, I did. And then I found all my infections that were otherwise negative in all the testing I had done with my general practitioner, but yeah. cultured in this new test. And I did a 12 week protocol and within about week four, my symptoms completely subsided and my gut's been fine yeah. since. And yeah. my diet is actually more loose now. I don't eat as strict as clean, but I don't have any symptoms. Yeah. And and I thought, well, how you know? I wish I I wish I knew about this because I had already spent maybe about honestly probably anywhere between twelve to fifteen thousand trying different things, <laughs> and that process cost me about you know at the time about three thousand in, yeah. in the twelve weeks. And so what we do for people now is we give them a package and we say, you know, for these three or four months, it will cost us anywhere between three to 6,000, which yeah. is roughly the price. This is what's included. You have these number of appointments. You have this test included. You have these bloods that we're going to look at and here are all the supplements you're going to get. Do you want to do it or not? And what yeah. happens is we give you one, an end date that we want the problem solved by. Yeah. Two, we tell you the exact cost so you don't, have surprises. You don't know, yeah. you know, otherwise I found myself going for different things all the time and I'm going, I don't know how much I'm going to spend here. This is a yeah. grinding pit. Um, and, and what happens with that is everyone's really clear. Everyone's yeah. really happy and we have the resources to fix the problem and you know exactly what you're paying and what's mm -hmm. expected. Yeah. And then, and I think what, I mean, I guess you could tell us, but I think, I think what separates us from everyone else is the level of support. Because yes. when things go wrong, we are there with you live. You can call, you yeah. can message, you can text. There's someone to contact. Yeah. Um, so what what did you find that was different to working with other practitioners in the past? Um, firstly, the, the testing was paramount. Yeah. Because I was being tested by people blindly. I did do a stool test in the beginning uh, three years ago. And it did show up that there was uh, a particular bacteria in there that mm. that uh, they, you know, naturopaths believed was the, the cause, but they weren't able to treat it. Yeah. I, I don't know why. they We tried different things that didn't, nothing seemed to work. Um, and I hated, I felt like I was everybody's guinea pig. People didn't really know and couldn't tell me, and all I ever got was, well, 
you know, it's something that's never going to be cured. Um, so you, you're just going to have to learn to manage it. That's great. I'm prepared to manage it, but I need to see some results, something. But what I found was it actually got worse and worse. And the, it's like the more people I turned to, the worse it got. And at the time I found you, I was ready to go and see. I'd actually booked an appointment to go and see another naturopath. And I spoke to her at length. I was having a really horrible day. And, you know, again, she said to me, we could probably manage it, but I don't believe that it can be cured. And and that in itself didn't align with me. I needed someone that could say, yes, this can be this can be cured. This can be sorted out. You know, and that's what I needed. I needed someone to align with my thoughts. And when I came across you, it was funny how, you know, I was in this this really dark night of the soul and yet all the right people appeared to support me emotionally, mentally, physically, in, in all these ways, you know, even the, the lady that gives me the intravenous vitamins, she's a nurse. So she was able to provide a lot of information um, from that, that Western medicine without, you know, she'd say to me, just take steroids for a short time just to control the bleeding. Don't don't worry about doing it long term. And I got so much information from her, which mm. put me at ease, whereas my specialist just said, no, no, I want you on it. I want you on this level. And when you're finished, um, you're going to come in and we're going to try this tablet. And if that doesn't work, we're going to go to injections. And I was so overwhelmed. And he said, so book your appointment. I want to see you in three weeks. And I hung up and never called back. <laughs> you know, and I thought, I'm not yeah. doing this. I'm not, I'm not your guinea pig. You're not listening to me when I'm telling you that what you're giving me is affecting other parts of my body. And yeah. I can't do this, you know. And with you guys, I just never felt like I was on a different page or we were on different planets. The support that I received when I needed to see Chloe, we got an appointment. When I needed supplements, they were sent in. When, I, when something didn't work, there was always something else we could try. Yeah. And I just felt... I just felt support. I just felt I knew it was the right thing because everything just came together, you know. Um, it, and as I said, it wasn't easy. And, and I've told a few people about um, your program and I've said to them, you know, it's not a walk in the park. And if you're looking for a walk in the park, then don't waste people's time. Yeah. And that's the kind of person I am, you know, don't. Don't go and do something and think that you can snap your fingers or someone's got a miracle. You are the miracle. You create it yourself by trusting, firstly, in your own body's ability to do what needs to be done and then in the people that you attract into your life that will help you and, and get you there, you know. But if you can't, for me to have said to you, Marco, I took a risk. That was a lot of money. I took a risk, but I had to trust. I had to trust, and everything that we talked about in the meeting just seemed to feel right and sit right with me. And I thought, and the fact that there was the testing, I think that's what, um, as much as I hate it, and you, you've done it, you know what it's like, but that made me, that reassured me these people aren't going to use you as a guinea pig. Then You're not going to try all these different things. Oh, this doesn't work. Try this. And yeah, we had a few things with more the probiotics mm. than anything else. Um, you know, I probably went through three, and in the end we decided that I'd use the one I've got I had at home in the fridge because that seemed to work best for me. So that's fine. But everything else didn't get any reactions, didn't have any issues. Um, you know, and my body seems to be fine. And I keep seeing changes daily and that, you know, changes for the better. I don't feel I'm going backwards. So, and, and to be at this point now where there's no bleeding and my bowel is working really well and I'm not running to the toilet, oh, this is a dream come true. <laughs> this, 
this is everything I believed I was capable of doing, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you know, and it's not easy and it's not cheap. And I remember having a mentor back in the day said to me, said, you know, if you think health is expensive, try being sick. Yeah. And sometimes we forget how much of a, not only just a monetary cost, but an emotional cost, a time cost, Mm. like every doctor's appointment, every specialist appointment, um, the opportunity cost of you not being able to be your full self, not being able to earn an income, it ends up costing you a heck of a lot more than 5,000 or 3,000 or whatever the case may be. Um, I mean, at the time when I was having my symptoms, I was, I was prepared to take out a loan and spend 25,000 and pay it back because I knew that if I can get this fixed, I can work and I can actually earn all of that back. But if I don't get it fixed, Mm. I can't do anything. Um, But it erodes, it just erodes. It was eroding me as a person because I couldn't socialize the way I wanted to. I, I virtually felt like I didn't have a life anymore. And, you know, there were, there were moments there where I thought, if this is my life, I don't know that I want it. I don't, I can't, you can't live like that, you know, um, and and the trauma of going to have a colonoscopy and I got post-traumatic stress disorder from my last one because I was a, I, I felt the whole thing while it was happening. And then when I said to my specialist, I felt everything you did. He literally just shrugged his shoulders. Oh, well, tough. And, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, you can't, you can't treat people like this, like we're nothing. You know, there was just, there's just no support in Western medicine. You're, you're just a, a, an item and here, take this. And, and if it doesn't work, we'll try something else. And I, I think the reassurance when you said about the testing and I thought, well, I'm not going to be the guinea pig. That, that's all going to be done in the lab. By the time it gets to me, we, we're on the right supplements. Yeah, there's going to be adjustments here and there. Yeah. But, you know, and and true to your word, I got the results. And I intend to make it permanent. <laughs> yeah, and, and for us, ideally, what we do is we get you to a to, we equip you with the skills to now continue on your own yeah. and and there is still support. It's never, you know, you're gone and you never you know, get support again, but we give you access to the supplements. We continue to keep you in our patient app and you can still chat with us and ask us questions in the future. But the idea is we get you to a place where you can take care of yourself. Yeah. And if, if because now you kind of know the fundamentals mm. and if for whatever reason, something happens where you don't understand it, you can then book a time with us, but it's not something like our model is not to have you forever. Um, yeah. Our model is yeah. to get you better and have this interview and get you to tell five, 10 people about us. And then maybe we get yeah. one. And it's, yeah. it's actually very hard for us to get a patient to sign up because the type of person that will do something like this understands that it's not easy, that it does yeah. require time and money. Not many people want that. And unfortunately, yeah. a lot of people, I, you know, I used to blame doctors and I used to blame Western medicine, but the more I work in the industry, the more I see that mm. it's just, it's us making the choice at the end of the day. If so many people didn't choose to take the prescription drugs and didn't go to that, it wouldn't exist, but exactly. people do because yeah. sometimes we want the easy fix um, yeah. and we don't see down the line. And then many people have a different tolerance for pain. Yeah. Some people, it has to get extremely bad for them to do something about it. Yeah. Um, different standards, unfortunately. But, you know, it's with Western medicine, you need, for us anyway, as practitioners, we're quite balanced. Like there are things that we we use and sometimes medication is necessary and sometimes yeah. it's helpful. But, you know, when you go to a specialist or a rheumatologist or a dermatologist, like when I did when I was, 18 years old and I paid all this money at the time, which for me was a huge amount. And I was told you have psoriasis, you can never get rid of it. And I thought, what? Mm. You just, you saw me for two and a half minutes. Yeah. You haven't even done any, you haven't taken a swab of my skin. You haven't cultured the back. You don't know what it is. You've just guessed and you put me on these antibiotics for three months. And, and now I'm supposed to live the rest of my life thinking that I can never get rid of it. Then I did. I have zero Mm. psoriasis these days. Yeah. Um, and, and so when people say it's incurable, I'm like, well, it's not because I did it. 
how can you yeah, tell me it's right. incurable? Yeah. Um, or I had sinus issues. I remember as a child, just not and never being able to breathe using Sudafed, using you know uh, all types of different therapies, and going to a ENT and them telling me you need to have a you know nose operation and all these things. And yeah. these days, I have zero sinus problems, and I never had a surgery. And in yeah. fact, I, I know people who have had surgeries, and they oh. it doesn't <laughs> fix the problem. I work, yeah. They're worse, and yeah. so you know, sometimes I'm like, well, why don't we try everything else we can? And mm. I, a lot of the time it comes back to lifestyle, emotional health, physical health, stress yes. management, diet plays a huge role. People don't realize yeah. that, yeah. you know, how you, how we eat now in a Western society is extremely unhealthy. Yeah. Um, and when we change all of that and you give it, give your body six, 12 to 18 months of grace and patience and just see what it can do. And if after that nothing works, go for it. You know, yeah. go, go do whatever yeah. you want to do. I believe the same thing. I, I think you have to um, – we're, we're fighting so many things with our food. I'm lucky we grow um, – my husband grows stuff, so I, you know, I was able to pick it a lot out of the garden. Um, I'm, very, I'm a very conscious cook. I don't eat out a lot. Um, and even if I do, I'm very, very selective. Where I eat, I go to places where I know they don't put a lot of different things in food. Um, so there's, yeah, but I'm I'm one of these people, I'm willing to walk my talk, you know. I was desperate to learn meditation and when I did it 22 years ago, <laughs> I remember the first weekend I did an intensive and all this stuff came up. I felt like this volcano was about to erupt. And I remember seeing one of the teachers there and I said, oh, I feel really unsettled and this is what's going on. She said, oh, I think you need to go and see a psychologist. And I was ready to punch her in the face. I thought, you know, don't, don't give me that shit. I've been down that road. And, and everything I've read, you know, talks about meditation as being a, a major healing tool. Don't now tell me I've got to go back to a psychologist. And I felt like that was the universe testing me, are you ready for this? Are you ready to dig deep and, and to walk your talk? So I've had 22 years of intensive, deep work and and colitis was just another deep, deeply embedded emotion that needed to be, um, you know, dug out and healed. And that I would not have healed those parts of myself had I not had this experience. Does that mean I welcome these experiences? No, I don't. But they are part of my psychic. And because of who I am, I will always walk my talk. And, and one of the reasons I gave up therapy was because people don't want to walk their talk. Mm. They want to be healed. They want, they want the other side, but they're not willing to do anything about it. And in the end, I thought, Luce, you're draining your own life force to try and convince people that the light on the other side is so much better than living in this dark space. But yeah. I thought, no, I'm not prepared to, to sacrifice myself anymore. I still love helping people. I've just got to find another way of doing it that isn't going to be so taxing on me. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. We yes. don't do we don't do convincing anymore. At least I don't do convincing anymore. No. I used to, but these yeah. days it's more encouraging. You know, here is what's yeah. possible. Here's what, how we yeah. can get there. If you don't believe it, uh, you're just you know. I'm sorry, it's just not a good fit. Um, you no, know exactly. And the people I have told about your program, I've mm -hmm. said this is what's happened to me. Um, but I don't. I see a couple of them on a regular basis, but I don't go on about it. I don't ask people, have you called them? Have you done them? No, nope, no, nope, whatever. Yeah. You know, I believe if someone, if you want something bad enough, you'll move to the other ends of the earth to get it. And yeah. there's not many people who are prepared to move to the other ends of the earth, unfortunately. Yeah. And I think that's why we have so much illness and disease in, in this world. Absolutely. You know, so, yeah. From my experience, the best patients have been the one who have come to us on their own. Whenever yes. I've had somebody, a partner or a husband or a wife influence their partner to come, 
yeah doesn't doesn't work out well it's always when it's the patient on their own it's a private yeah. journey like when yeah. when i was going to therapy it was a one-on-one -on -one thing it was intimate it was just for me yeah. no one else needed to know or it was between me and that practitioner exactly and that's, yeah. that's how the best work is done it's you know it it isn't done with someone trying to hype you up and motivate you in the back people mm -hmm. pain can really motivate people and when they're in enough pain Absolutely. Yeah. They'll do anything. But if someone was watching this video and they, they, you know, are thinking about putting through an application or booking a call, um, I just want to let you know, you're not going to be spending <laughs> straight away. It's, it's that call is really a way for me to get to know you, you to get to know me and to yes. figure out whether yeah. we can actually help. It's not a, uh, some sales process where you're going to get, yeah. you know, um, it's nothing like that. So if you are wondering whether we can help, there will be a link somewhere, fill out the application. That's what Lucy did, filled out the app. I gave her a call and we just took it from there. Mm. Um, but Lucy, if someone was watching this and they're wondering whether it's a good fit for them or let's say they've been following us for a while, what would you tell them? Um, I First, and which I've done with people I've told about you, is set up that first meeting. I think you need to have that, that first meeting and trust your gut. Trust your gut that, you know, this is, you. firstly, that you really want to heal because there is a lot of people who there's a payoff for staying unwell. Hmm. So you, I think you need to be honest with yourself first and foremost. Set up the meeting with you guys. Find out whether, you know, this is a good fit for you. And then if you take it on, be prepared to do the work, be prepared. And don't don't just think that um, it's the program alone. There are things you need to do outside of the program, the emotional component, which um, underpins every disease and illness. Disease is simply, simply put ill at ease in my body. So whilst you're doing the physical, Remember, there's a reason why you're ill at ease in your body. Look at that. Find someone to help you work through that and then go for it. I, I guarantee you, I would back myself 100% and say you do the mental, the physical and the emotional and you will get the healing. Absolutely, categorically, you will get it and you won't look back. It's not going to happen overnight. And I remember Chloe saying to me, you know, Lucy, it could take six months. I'm so blessed that it's taken right up until the end of the three months. But that doesn't mean, oh, okay, I'm here now. Let me throw the diet out the door. The diet works really well for me. I don't find it challenging. Um, I, I love fresh food and fresh fruits and, and vegetables. So I don't find it challenging. Not everybody's me but find what works for you that can really support you because you can't get the results when you're, okay, I'll do this, but I won't do that. You can't. We are whole. We are a whole person made up of, of mental, emotional and physical. And unless you're prepared to take it all on, do yourself a favour, save some money, save your money, don't waste people's time and yep. find another way, <laughs> basically, you know. The amount of people that have said to me, I absolutely love steroids. And I thought, I want to shoot the person who invented them. <laughs> so, but that's me, you know? Yeah, so Exactly. Love it. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lucy. Thanks for doing this. this is, I'm thank sure you. somebody will watch this and be inspired and encouraged to, to take the first yeah. step. Thank I you. hope so, because it's, it's only when more people like you guys come out. And I love that you work as a team. So you're not, you know, just one person. Um, I, and I think you have to remember people heal collectively. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Sometimes I think it takes a village to help us to heal. So hats off to you. I think your program's amazing. And, yeah, I, I look forward. What I want moving forward is to know because you guys were the ones that helped me get to this point. Um, so I don't want to go to someone else now and say, well, this is what they did. I want to stick with what works 
and just knowing that I can call you if I need to or check in in three months' time. So everything's still going really well. Um, you know, how, how else can I keep moving forward? So, yeah. Let, let's talk about that uh, privately. We'll figure it yep. out. Yep. Awesome. No worries. Thank you. You take care. Bye.